Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be well yeah I'm gonna be showing you how to make some custom water. This is the final product of what uh, I'm gonna make. But not the exact final product. Um this doesn't have any wave size to it and any wave speed. So let's clear this. You can clear that by typing in workspace that terrain clear and it's gone this clears all terrain just I just need to need to let you know just in case so let's just put up a script model script boom and uh, basically this is what we're trying to do here see this one line of the code I'm gonna break it down because some of you may not understand what this means so let's get rid of that boom let's reference uh, terrain Need a reference for terrain, right? That's what we're trying to edit. So terrain is equal to workspace dot terrain, because that's what terrain is located. Now, you can just type terrain fill block. What that does is fill a block, a section block section. And uh, in that, in this little function called fill block, it accepts parameters called C frame which is the position, it's basically the position and I'm going to put that at the center, raise it about 10 studs high and yeah and it also accepts size parameter which is a vector 3 construct which is, f I'm going to make it 50 wide, 2 studs high, 50 so 50 by 2 by 50 and then I'm going to just put those into, into the function so C frame, which is already referenced, size, and L, and in uh, you need to put in a material parameter. So um, a material thingy, <laughs> which it can be any material, but for in this case we're going for water. So it's just type in, in the, that dot material dot water, and that's it. That's it. Four lines of code. You could run this, test it out. It'll work. But for now, to save up on time, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in the command prompt to generate it. That's how we do it. And it comes out like this. Squarish. It can be any size, any position. It's good for maps. Clear terrain, regenerate it in a different location. And you can have these little rivers all over the place. Nice and neat rivers. You don't need to use the terrain tools. But how do we edit this? Because there's you can you can there's uh, some options for this. If you go to terrain, click on it. They have they have watercolor options you can change around. You can make a you know, a river of blood if you wanted to, a river of uranium if you wanted to. Uh, but for now, um, let's make a stormy sea. <laughs> My voice cracked. So yeah, let's make a stormy sea. It's like a dark blue. Raise it up. Boom. There we go, stormy sea. Kind of. Doesn't look very stormy, does it? So we can just go over here under water wave size. We can change that. It, has, it accepts a value between zero and one. Zero being no size, one being the biggest size. And you can see that very uh, instant change. Sporadic, not not sporadic. Um, what's the word? Extreme. It, it just went from a little bit of moving to giant moving movements. Doesn't really look look very stormy. Still it looks kind of quiet, calm, oceany. If you're going for this look, then it's fine. But I want a I want a stormy see? So I can just go over to water wave speed, and I can just shoot that value up to a hundred. It goes from zero to a hundred. Zero beat meaning no speed. So if I if I put that at zero, this water would not be moving at all. As you can see, no movement. If I push it up to one hundred, which is the maximum, uh, it moves really fast, and it looks like a stormy sea. And yep, that's it. You can mess around with these if you want. Hopefully, I helped you out. And uh, this is one of my first tutorial videos since in you know, like a month or not even months almost a year I think it was a year anyways uh, I'll see you guys in my next video I might make some more tutorials who knows just you know subscribe and like and all that good stuff I'll see you later